Welcome to Las Vegas. We're here for the CES 2017. This consumer electronics show turns more and more into a car show, to be honest, because here the manufacturers can show what is possible today and what will be there for tomorrow. One thing they're talking about here at the Nissan stand at the CS is autonomous driving. And I think very important is Nissan shows that they, as they did in the past, not only will offer new technologies for big cars, they also offer it for the standard cars. But for me, a lot more interesting, better looking is that so-called blade glider here behind me. This is an e-concept car, so zero emission, and that drives 190 kilometers per hour, and it accelerates from zero to 100 kilometers per hour in less than five seconds. During the CS, Mercedes presents a new concept which is called Vans and Robots. They work together with a company called Starship and this is about delivering of small packages, small items over the last mile. And what this is in detail, we'll have a closer look now. Well, the range of the robots is about uh, four to six miles. Uh, but what we mean here is, or what we have uh, in mind here is that we uh, synchronize, that we parallelize the delivery. Um, so while, uh, let's say, six to eight robots are dispatched and do the delivery, the driver can do its delivery um, as, as well. And by parallelizing it, we really reach quantum leaps in efficiency on last mile logistics. At the Volkswagen stand here at the CS, we find the electric concept car called ID, which we already know from the Paris Motor Show. More important and very nice is they offer us a new app for our smartphones, which gives us the opportunity to take our personal settings from one Volkswagen car to another, uh, for instance, uh, while car sharing. But my personal highlight is the new voice recognition systems, which is very easy now. For instance, I can just say, I'm hungry, and this one looks for perfect fitting restaurants for me nearby automatically. Here at the stand of Toyota, the CS, everything is about artificial intelligence. They show a concept called Concept I, and this car learns the habits, the standard behaviors of its owner, and then it suggests easy ways to do what I do every day. Since Faraday Future started to present cars on motor shows or shows like the CS here in Vegas, they always received loads of attention. One reason for that is normally their design. But this time they're talking about big numbers. The FF91 offers 1,050 horsepower and it should accelerate in only 2.39 seconds from 0 to 100 km per hour. When we're talking about Hyundai, we easily forget that this company not only builds cars, there's a lot more, like these exoskeletons here. And the only thing they should do is help. At the stand of Honda, you find a new system called Unicup, which is a very tiny vehicle that drives up to six kilometers only per hour, but quite nice and flexible. And then a lot more important and a lot nicer is this new electric urban vehicle concept here. This car sells, to, for instance, battery power when not needed, or it rents itself out while I'm on work. At this year's CS, we also found loads of very interesting innovations and concepts. There are two things that we really can take home. One, we're just one step away from the pure autonomous driving. And the other thing is our car's getting more and more intelligent. <laughs> 